Hi, this is Jeff from the Advanced Pro Web Design and Business Network. Gonna show you quickly today how to set your primary menu in Divi or any other WordPress theme. Let's take a look. So before we get started, if you can kindly click that like button or subscribe to our channel, it's greatly appreciated. It helps us get content out just a little bit quicker. Other than that, let's get the ball rolling. So in order to start, of course, you're going to have to have some version of WordPress installed, whether it's a free theme, a pay theme, or whatever you're using. doesn't matter because the process is exactly the same. So in my case, I have Chrome open with my uh, website uh, open here as well with the default Divi theme. So in my case, I have two tabs open. One's going to be to preview the website and any changes, and the other one is going to be to log into WordPress, which I'm going to do now. For anyone who's not familiar with how to do that, it's pretty easy. You just want to put in WP admin. That's your extension there. We're going to click enter and I'm going to put in my login details quickly. And there we are. So the first thing you'll notice when you go back to the uh, main menu here is whatever is in the primary menu or the top menu here is whatever is in the pages section here. And I'm just going to click on that now and I'm going to go to all pages. And you'll see sample page and on categories in this case means there's no menu or anything set yet. So once you do set a menu, that'll eventually remove itself. So just to show you, however, what happens on its own, if you just add pages without setting a menu, we'll do that now. Going to add a new page. We'll call this um, services, publish. Go back again to the same place. Call this contact. And then we'll add one more. I'll call this portfolio just for fun. And there we are. You can see all the new pages there now. So once I go back to the other tab, I'm just going to click refresh in my browser. And we'll see in the primary menu all the pages appear. So the idea is, however, if you want to set a menu, we don't just want all the pages to appear, just the pages we want in the top menu. So in order to do that, you are going to have to set that in the menu tab, and I'll show you where that is right now. Uh, so once we're back in our WordPress admin panel here, we're going to look for appearance. You're going to see an option where it says menus, and we're going to click on that. So right now, as you can see, we have no menu. So in order to set a menu, we have to actually name it first and put it in the uh, menu name field here. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I usually call it main and then I'll click on create menu. So you'll see now we have some new options to play with here. So if you look here, you'll see the options are primary menu, secondary menu, footer menu. So the primary menu is this one here that uh, is the default menu, which you've seen, of course. Uh, you can also click on a secondary menu, which is a menu that will appear above the primary menu if you need one. Uh, not relevant in this case, so just so you know. And for the footer menu, you can set one as well. So when you set a menu, they are different for all of them, unless you decide to click multiples at once like this. So in this case, all we're going to do is click on the primary menu and we're going to go from there and click save menu. So once we've done that successfully, we'll just go back to our preview page again and we are going to click refresh. And you'll see just the pages we want are there. If we want to undo any of this, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go back to your menu and you can unclick that primary menu and we're just going to click save. And then it'll revert back to everything in your uh, pages slot there, but uh, obviously we want to keep it. So we're going to go back again, go back down to primary menu and click save. And we bring it all back. So say you want to add some subcategories or drop down menu to this main primary menu as well. That's actually pretty easy to do also. So we're just going to go back to our main menu here. And in this case, instead of adding pages, I'm going to add uh, custom links in this case, which are going to serve as more of a placer since I don't have pages ready yet. And this is an easy option for you as well, just to test the menu without having to create too much. So I'm going to click the pound symbol and I'm just going to add a few more uh, random extra categories. So we're just going to call this one option one. I will click the add to menu button, rinse and repeat, option two, and one more time with option three. 
And there we are. You can see all the custom links there, but they haven't been made into drop down menus yet. And I'll show you how to do that next. Luckily, it's pretty easy. So all you'll do is take the uh, subcategories that you want to put under one of your main categories. So in this case, we'll use services. And all I'm going to do is pull it below with this little indent here, which indicates that it's actually a subcategory in the drop down menu. So I'm going to do that for all three. And when you can see the indent for all, I'm going to click Save Menu again. We'll go back to our preview page. And then you'll see all the options directly under services. And you can actually even keep going from there if you want to add menus within menus, so to speak. So to do that, I'm just going to add a couple more uh, custom links. Just going to put sub tab one and sub tab two. And now you can do the exact same thing, uh, just filtering it a little bit further. So I'm going to pull these as an indent under option one, and I'll show you what happens, which is pretty cool. We click Save Menu. Then when we refresh and preview again, you'll see there's subcategories under the subcategories, so to speak. So that's everything in a nutshell. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if so, please like or subscribe to our channel. Or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and more videos are coming soon.